All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and get started with the MVC model for the movie library. The previous videos I had um, completed just explaining what they were, but they were all on mute, so I do apologize for not posting those. But what I'll try doing is I'll first complete this, um, and then I'll uh, and then I might go back and review those and then see what my understanding is at. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and just make everything for now just in one single file, and then, and then we will continue on, and then we'll see how and what we need to change. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and um, get started with the with the view component of the of the MVC model, and um, and then continue from there. So in this case, let's go ahead and uh, create a class called View, and we will just see how things go about in this. So in here, um, one 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 would simply just imagine that we are going to first import all from key printer and um and i'm going to go ahead and initialize the root like the top level widget and uh in the view class just just to see how uh what kind of problems we come up with overall and then we'll fix as we go and go about this should be a relatively short short video because i've reviewed this so much but let's go ahead and get started so um, let's go ahead and put in, um, let's go ahead and initialize the constructor for it. And, and, um, here, let's go ahead and do self.root equals, okay. And, hmm. um, given that now, well, what we can do is now we can also now start initializing the additional, uh, labels. So, Sorry, labels and as well as uh, entries and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly, I'm going to, yeah, I'll just make it right now. So welcome message, so self.welcome will just be label dot and uh, label dot um, the, the, the first, so for, for, for Pinter, we have to initialize the, like the master or like the top level widget that it would show up on. So in our case, it'll just be self.root. And down in here, the text can be, um, let's say we're going to do movie title. Okay, that's very, very scrappy for now. Um, and as well as self.welcome dot grid of row equals zero and column equals zero. Then we're going to go ahead and do the, oops, sorry, not the welcome. Um, I guess that's the title. We can use that as the title. Um, and then in here, we'll just simply just do like another button for uh, for submitting whatever the, actually first we have to make the, the, the um, So that's going to be the label, and we're going to go ahead and make the actual entry for it. And then here we're going to do entry self dot root because that's the master window. And in here, um, let's do the width of it. I guess width is going to be let's say thirty. And um, entry dot grid. So we we'll just do use the geometry manager to be able to display that. And we're going to do it in the same row as the label, but we're going to have a one over column, uh, one column over. So for that, we're going to do set as one and, um, okay. And now, um, in here, what we could do is and then, yeah, we can go ahead and set up a submit button. Let's just be submit button. Okay. Uh -oh. And stop dot root. And as well as the text, I guess, could just be submit. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, assign another command for it so that essentially the function after the button is clicked after that actually what happens. So we're going to do command equals, let's just say submit. Um, 
Okay, and let's just self self submit. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna quickly come out of the instructor and we're gonna go ahead constructor and we're gonna go ahead and make that make this function right here. So in this case, okay, and um, now we'll quickly just leave this over over here for now. So really, upon um, ouch, um, what we can do is. And just to see what we've produced so far, then we can just do main loop. No, that would be main loop. Mm. I'm just gonna tinker around, uh, tinker around with it just to see where do we need to put in um, the main loop from. Okay, so let's see. If we have it in the constructor, I, I want to see what happens. Let's go ahead and do this, and see. I think that's in the practice folder. And let's go ahead and run it. And find dot score UI dot pi. Okay, amazing. So what's happening is that once this, uh, as soon as the object is initialized with the initialization, all the parameters that are in the constructor also get initialized. So in there, we have the top level widget in which we put the label and the button. Um, actually, the button itself is not showing, so we should be doing dot self dot submit dot grid. Um, we can just do row equals zero and column equals actually no, the, the row is going to be one and column itself can just be zero and then perhaps we could um, run it if you want it but let's go ahead and rerun it oops okay so here we are right and um, if you just want to span this uh, this file over here we could just do column span uh two i guess or one hmm. i want to see what what happens um two because we have two columns set over there so perfect and uh yeah and now in this case the submit button we should be able to do something now in the submit button um really in the mvc model it always has to follow um that everything has to come back to the controller and then the controller is going to be able to uh, to to distribute all the other information so let's go ahead and make the make the controller class controller and remember that the controller is going to be uh, dealing with both the like the model and the view so we could really just initialize it oops and in here we can do model oops and we can do model and as well as the view itself so let's do and we're going to go ahead and set those values to be model i'm sorry we're going to initialize the controller of the um, object with the attributes model itself uh sorry uh end view and those values will be passed in okay amazing and now um Right, and now somewhere that the, like now the, essentially, if the information is coming in from the view, it has to pass on to the model. If the model is sending its values, then we're gonna pass it on to view. So we will figure that one out. And um, I guess we can just do passing, um, just for the time being, and we'll just do pass. Now, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and um, create another uh, class called model. And in this, so in this, um, I'm wondering what we would need to in here it would need to receive the data in order for it to do all the work related to the data such as retrieval validation um updating ser uh, inserting and all that stuff so let's go ahead and uh, create another constructor for this and in here we are going to do um let's do just the title for now right just because that's the only thing that we are sending in and let's do a self dot title and title. Um, then whatever we do with within the model, so upon receiving the title, then we will see what we need to do. And um, let's just do let's call it work. Um, and uh, let's just put it as path. So really, so far, just to wrap it up before this video ends, just want to see how much time we have left. We have oh we have we have five five minutes left. So so far, what we have set up is is the typical uh, is the MVC model in which the view itself is going to present the UI 
the user is going to do all like it's going to see it, put in the information, and once once you click um, within that view the submit button, it's going to do something in order to pass that value, uh, to pass that data into the controller. And once once received once received by the controller, the controller would then have to relay it back into the the model. That's essentially how it's going to go. Um, and we're only right now thinking about just one way, like where it comes from, the data comes from uh, view, then controller, then model. Then we can complicate it by, okay, now that the model has received it, and if we want to fetch it and pass it back onto the UI, then we would have to create that relay as well. And I'm very interested to see how that's going to happen. I can't wait to try that out. So in here, uh, let's go ahead and do uh, controller. Let's set up another uh, attribute in the view model. Uh, sorry, in the view com object and let's go ahead and put that as none right and um, in the in here so far although we only have the controller set to none let's go ahead and try this out um, assume that we are actually let's go ahead and build it build it in here for now fine no problem in the controller it will need to somehow pass the data coming in from the um from the view into the model so um we have in the controller initialized the uh the attributes for model and view just to just to kind of think of it um in the passing it would need to be if it's called in in another va uh, in another uh class it would need to really what we're doing is we're going to be passing in that um, that information from the view, right? Now, if you were to pass this, and let's say if we were to do self dot, mm, mm, just a view somehow calls on so call controller and then send value send user value to view right to controller and user input to controller by using a specific method by using its by using its method. Controller's specific method. So now, really, what this should look like is controller dot. Let's say if it's save or pass. Um, in this case, we would simply just do. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't use. Maybe I shouldn't be using passing. Or I, yeah, I guess the method itself over here is passing so we could do that and then we can in here we can just simply do do title entry dot get so whatever the value is put into the ent entry field um okay now in here what we need to do is we would need to so really in the controller um sorry in the view we call the controller uh, object and it's when we refer to its uh, method to pass on the value from the user and then the and then within the passing uh, method of controller we could do we would now need to relay this title that we just received and we need to pass it on to the model so let's say the model itself has the uh, work well actually before that we would need uh, the model itself is also initialized with a value called title so we can actually send this as title and um, now what that does is passes the value from view into controller, which then also uh, sent, sets the value and sets the value of model as the value that the data just received. So now, uh, with that being said, then we can simply just do. Let's say if you just wanted to 